Welcome to Sketchy. We take all the super complex stuff you need to learn and turn them into memorable visual stories packed full of everything you need to know on test day. Click the link in the corner or description to try for free for seven days. Now let's get to it. Let's talk about the ovaries. Since we already covered PCOS, mostly we'll be covering ovarian tumors here. First, a foray into benign ovarian cysts, which include follicular and corpus luteum cysts. Then we'll move on to ovarian tumors, which can be benign or malignant. In this sketch, we'll go through epithelial ovarian tumors. Then in the next one, we'll cover the other main types, germ cell tumors and sex cord stromal tumors. It's Easter in the ovary garden. Time to fill the ovary baskets with eggs and candy. Follicular cysts are the most common ovarian cyst in reproductive aged persons with ovaries. They're also called physiologic cysts. They occur if a mature follicle does not rupture, but continues to grow. The follicle accumulates fluid, resulting in a simple cyst, a harmless water balloon, if you will. These cysts are usually asymptomatic and regress on their own. But if they rupture, they can cause a sterile peritonitis and severe pain. Large cysts are also a risk factor for ovarian torsion. See how she spins that cystic water balloon before tying it off? Ovarian torsion is a not-so-benign condition that causes acute pelvic pain. Watch out, because if the torsion is left untreated, it can result in loss of the ovary. At Sketchy, a blooming flower represents a rupturing follicle. After rupture, when the oocyte is expelled into the fallopian tube, the corpus luteum, or yellow body, is left behind in the ovary and secretes progesterone. That corpus luteum is embodied by the yellow sunflower here. It turns out that the corpus luteum may form a cyst. In fact, it's the most common ovarian cyst found in pregnant persons. In early pregnancy, the corpus enlarges. When fluid accumulates in the enlarging corpus luteum, a cyst forms. Fortunately, the majority of corpus luteum cysts regress spontaneously as the pregnancy progresses. Like follicular cysts, they can also cause significant pain if they grow large enough or rupture. <laughs> corpus luteum? More like corpus lame -ium. This is Easter morning. What are we doing? It's egg hunting time. As we palpate every square inch of the lawn, be on the lookout for masses. Cysts, however, this time we're looking for tumors. Ovarian tumors largely affect persons with ovaries after menopause. The median age of presentation is the 60s, and peak incidence is in the 70s. Therefore, if you find an ovarian tumor in young persons with ovaries who are still menstruating, it's most likely benign. Well, it's been, what, like five minutes now? And already the kids have gone all Lord of the Flies on each other and are looting each other's baskets. As he reaches way in there and palpates around... Keep in mind the one clinical feature that all ovarian tumors have in common, an indexal mass on exam. The ovaries of young persons who are menstruating are normally palpable on exam, but suspect a tumor if they are enlarged or a mass is palpated. And always suspect malignancy if the ovaries are palpable in an older person with ovaries who is postmenopause.